Yo, what is up, guys? This is your boy, Michael Arts here, and today I will be teaching you how to make t a clean 2D ban uh, header, not banner, sorry. Um, this is just, I think it's very simple if you were to watch the tutorial, and it's better if you're doing it for like a team or something, or someone who has a personal logo, because I will be using a logo in it. So, if you're not looking for like a logo type header, I would suggest you click off the video because there's no point in wasting your time watching this if, unless you want to learn, I don't know. But, alright, first you're gonna click, you're gonna get your pen tool, you're gonna click about here, and it doesn't matter where, it's just, and then you're gonna go down here in the darker gray and make a little curve. Uh, I think I clicked too far over. I click here and make a little curve. So it's going to be like that. And you're just going to put this across like that. Make sure it doesn't go in the white. And then you're going to make new layer pressing this button. Right, oh, right click. Fill path. And you're going to want to put it on white. Or really whatever color you, you want to put there. But for this example, I am using white. You're gonna right click and then you're gonna delete the path. Alright, so next you're gonna go to F, as you like, you're gonna go to whatever this is called, blending options. You're gonna go to gradient overlay, you're gonna change this to 20. Oh, didn't mean to click off that. Gradient overlay. Alright, once it's on 20, you're gonna want to go to drop shadow, put it on. 120, change this down to 70, and change the size to 32, and actually no, you're going to change this down to like 50. Alright, that looks pretty clean, so I'm going to press OK, and then we'll press Control J, which duplicates the layer, you can hold Shift, and move your mouse over like this so it like brings it over without moving it up or down and just goes sideways so that it's like our side we can just bring that out like that <clears throat> sorry my voice a little scraggly it just was sick oh voice crack <laughs> <clears throat> all right so gonna i don't know i prefer putting these up because they're just so annoying too pay attention to but you're gonna hold shift and click layer one so it's gonna go over both of them you're gonna hold control E oh no you don't don't hold control uh, hold shift make it um, press control J <laughs> sorry and then you're gonna press control T which and then flip it horizontally and you're gonna move this across so it's so it's about, I don't know, so it's about even like on the other side. Alright, so after this, we are going to get our, actually, yeah, we're going to go, if you have a logo, I'm just going to use one of these logos because I am right now in a knifing team and this is just supporting fellow knifers I guess but we're gonna bring this down to about I don't know I'm gonna say that's good so put it in the middle like that uh, we're gonna want to change it to color overlay. Ooh, not red. <laughs> gonna make it. Alright, just gonna go here. Go 040404. Which makes it not black, but it's just a little lighter. It makes it so much cleaner, guys. So, I would suggest doing that. I'm gonna make this 2222, I guess. Go here. And. Inside, gonna put it inside, and then 
Actually, you no, know, let's make this just a little bit lighter. Alright, so I like it right there. That seems pretty good. And. Uh, we're gonna go to the text tool. And I'm gonna use this text, the font called Bank Gothic. It's a really good font. It's like a really clean font. And I'm put Axis. Because that is the team I am making this for. Alright, so it's there. You're gonna want to make the text. Black. And then you're gonna want, you're gonna, well, as it's highlighted, you're gonna press Control T, which gives you this menu. You're gonna put this to 500, so it just spaces the text out more, and it makes it look, look like way more clean. So, alright, that's about centered, I would say. And then. I'm going to go to this pack just because it has the social media icons. And I am going to go to the Twitter and YouTube ones. And I'm going to drag them in here. Alright, they're white right now, so you can't see them. But I'm going to come over the A. Make this black. I'm just gonna copy this layer style and put it over the YouTube one. Alright, so at the moment, I'm gonna put the Twitter there. And, oh, the Twitter. Hold up. The Twitter is right there. And put the YouTube. No! Alright. YouTube and put it like right there. Alright, so right now we're just putting like the person or teams uh, like Twitter and YouTube. So this one, oh, this is their. Oh, that's a little too small. Um, you really can make this anything you wanted. And you that's why I had it down to 258. And make it a little bit bigger. Alright, so we have it like that. Center it out. Alright, so and uh, control J. Drag this over to the YouTube. Here, I'm gonna just make sure. Alright, oh, it's just access sniping. I think the YouTube is access, access sniping. Yeah, it is. Alright, so. This. Excuse me, like that. Alright, so I think that looks pretty clean as is. But we are going to add a light. So I'm just gonna go here, go to temperatures, which is the lights. They're like, not that one, that one. Um, they're lights, basically. I go here. I'm not gonna put it over anything. I'm just gonna drag it, put it down here. And it does, it, it makes a difference. It just makes it a lot more cleaner. And yeah, so you really could go on and add a bunch of stuff after this if you wanted, but just to keep this simple, I'm going to stop it here. It has been nine minutes. Uh, that was a really simple thing for such a long tutorial. So thank you guys. Um, have a nice day.